my name is Beth Malaji. I am the founder of Rebirth Wines. Um, so Rebirth started two years ago. The whole idea of it was to introduce wine into the African market. Um, so when we started, it was literally more on sourcing the wine that a lot of people are not familiar with, going to different wine farms and um, tasting different types of wine and bringing it to people. We also helping other aspiring wine entrepreneurs to get into the business as well. So we would help them source the wine, we would help them um, set up and get ready in order to make sure that their wine businesses are thriving and we help literally with everything from the idea phase to um, you know, conceptualizing everything and um, putting the business element of it together. Uh, what inspired me to get into the wine business was really more in the beginning was to look I've got aspirations of having my own vineyard and for me it was a way of getting my foot in the door. I would like to one day pinpoint a vineyard and say I own that and obviously things like that are very expensive and although there's some ways into getting into the industry without having to um, now focus on the end goal of it and me starting off with having a wine label was just literally the beginning of it all. I'd say though I've been lucky that I've surrounded myself with thought leaders and industry experts within um, the industry who then help me mentor me into the business especially when it comes to a lot of things that we overlook like the pricing. What do the market want? Is it the right time to um, penetrate the market right now? Um, how do we structure the product offering and way as well? So a lot of the challenges have really been on restructuring the business as a whole. Um, getting talent has been one of the challenges as well. Bringing in people into your business has always been very hard. Um, you never really know if you're hiring right, if you're hiring early or if it is actually even the right time to hire people. At the same time, you need help. How do you structure um, your organization in such a way that you get help in order for you to thrive. Uh, you get the advice that I've, I was given when I started was educate yourself about your industry, familiarize yourself with industry experts, and don't be afraid of asking questions. There's a whole lot of people that have been there, done that, they've made the mistakes. You don't have to make some of the mistakes yourself. Literally knock at their doors and ask them what works, what doesn't work, if they've got templates for you um, that you can use for your business, take advantage of that. A lot of people within almost any industry are willing to give information to anyone that is coming. Uh, the viewers can get our products from the website www.rebeth.co.za. It's an e-commerce website. They can check out online or they can follow us on all our social media platforms. Rebeth, that's R-E-B-E-T-H.